Welcome to this video on FIPS multi-tenancy for BCMP guests. If you have a 10350 hardware platform, then it has a hardware security module, also known as an HSM or FIPS card. This means that when you provision BCMP, then you can assign what's called a FIPS partition to each guest that needs to process FIPS-related application traffic. This allows you to dedicate SSL resources including SSL cores and key storage, to VCMP guests. Before you get started, make sure you've done these prerequisites. You have a big IP administrator role. The hardware platform is model 10350 and the security label matches the label on the other devices in the big IP device group. The HSM is initialized and the HSMs on the devices in the big IP device group are synchronized. You know the security officer password for managing the FIPS HSM. The device has a master symmetric key. You have created VCMP guests on the system, and the Big IP configurations on all devices in the Big IP device group are synchronized. To assign dedicated SSL resources to each VCMP guest, you'll need to do these tasks. First, if your Big IP system was provisioned for VCMP prior to upgrading to Big IP version 13.1, you'll need to enable the Big DB variable kernel.iommu. Next, you'll need to resize the default FIPS partition on the HSM. Then you'll need to create a FIPS partition on the HSM for each VCMP guest that you want to dedicate SSL resources to. Next, you'll need to log into the VCMP host and disable each guest that you want to assign a FIPS partition to. And finally, for each disabled guest, you'll need to assign a FIPS partition and then redeploy the guest. So we're gonna start off by enabling the big DB variable kernel.iommu. Remember, this step is only if you're upgrading from an earlier software version and you were running VCMP before. Otherwise, you can skip this step. Using a program like PuTTY, log into the Big IP system and access the TMSH shell. At the TMSH prompt, type modify slash sysdb kernel.iommu value enable. Then type save sysconfig. Now we're going to resize the default FIPS partition on the HSM. The HSM comes with a default FIPS partition named Partition 1. By default, 63 of the 64 SSL cores on the HSM are allocated to this partition. This means that before you can create a FIPS partition for each guest, you'll need to reduce the number of SSL cores allocated to the default partition. That will free up SSL cores for you to allocate to the other partitions that you create. Still at the TMSH prompt, type FIPS util PTN resize. Enter the security officer password, then enter the partition name, in this case partition 1. At the enter max keys prompt, change the current value for the maximum number of SSL keys that you can store on that HSM, or you can keep the same value as we're doing in this example. Change the value of the enter max Excel dev prompts from 63 to a lower number. Remember, the number of SSL cores you remove from partition 1 equals the number of SSL cores available for all the other guests combined. Finally, type save sysconfig. Next, we're going to create a FIPS partition for each guest. After you free up SSL cores from partition 1, you can create a FIPS partition on the HSM for each guest that you want to allocate FIPS resources to. Still at the TMSH prompt, type FIPS util PTN create. Type the security officer password. Type a name for the guest's partition, such as partition 2. Type a value for the maximum number of private SSL keys that the guest administrator will be able to store in the guest partition. Type a value for the number of SSL cores you want to allocate to the partition. Important! Remember that the more cores you allocate here, the fewer the cores that will be available for other guests later. Type save sysconfig. Repeat this task for each guest that you want to allocate FIPS hardware resources to. Next, we're going to disable VCMP guests on the user interface. On the main tab, click VCMP Guest List. Select the checkboxes next to the guests you want to assign FIPS partitions to. Click Disable. Now we're going to assign a FIPS partition to the guests. In the Name column, click the name of the guests that you want to modify. From the FIPS partition list, select a FIPS partition name. It's worth noting that if the guest is also processing or handling any non-FIPS traffic, you can configure the SSL mode setting. This setting controls the non-FIPS hardware SSL resources on the system. Click Update. 
Repeat this task for each guest to which you want to assign a FIPS partition. Finally, select the checkboxes next to the guests you assigned FIPS partitions to and click Deploy. Now that you've created FIPS partitions and assigned them to any guests that are processing FIPS-related application traffic, the administrator for each guest can log into the guest and manage their FIPS private keys, as you would normally do on a non-VCMP system. Thank you for watching this video. For more information on FIPS SSL key management, go to support.f5.com.